What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob and he is a plush. <laughs> That's right my friends, Bob is now a plush and he is available for the next 21 days as part of an exclusive campaign, never to be seen again. So if you would like to give us... <laughs> so if you would like to get yourself a Bob, there'll be a link down below in the description as well as at the end of this video there'll be some terms and conditions and more details about this campaign. I'll also put like a thing along the bottom of the, the, the time stamp. But just quickly, we do need to hit 200 Bob sales for him to go into production and I just, I'm so excited. Really, I'm just so nervous about this right now because I, it's my dream to get something that I've created out in the world and Bob, Bob of all people, Come on, it's Bob! Ah! I can't do this, I'm so excited. Look at him. <laughs> oh. If you do get yourself a Bob, please share with me those pictures. I would love to see Bob around the world as I am making a video compilation and a photo album. So I would just love to see how many of you get the Bob, where you get the Bob, where he is around the world. It would just be incredible. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back to a brand new episode of my 10 style swap drawing challenge type thing where I, ADC Artitech, take one character and attempt to draw them in 10 different styles. However, not today. Today's character, I'm going to be drawing in six different styles. Now, there is a reason to that, and let me quickly explain. Whenever I do a style swap in the past, I always do my best to put myself into the mind of the original creator, to create an authentic looking style swap and a new character based on their style. However, this does come with its issues. Not only does it take me a very long time, it's also extremely stressful. I spend around four to six hours learning a style that I'm tackling, which is why I do so many repetitive styles because it's very hard to learn a new style. There's a lot of pressure behind it and doing 10 styles doesn't allow me enough time to focus on each individual style because I just feel so pressed for time trying to get the video out. So doing six styles is going to alleviate a lot of that stress and also create, in my opinion, a better presentation of the styles. For today's style swap, we're going to be doing one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. I'm wearing the wrong shirt. <laughs> Wait! Oh, bugger! Ow! <laughs> yes, Stitch. Today we're going to be drawing Stitch in six different styles. And as we already said, Stitch is one of my favorite characters of all time. And you guys seem to love when I do anything related to Stitch, as previous videos have shown. Und so, appearing on your screen right now are the six different styles that I am going to be working with today. And what I want you to do before this video begins is to leave a comment down below letting me know which style you are looking forward to the most. Then at the end of the video, I'm going to be asking you to edit or comment underneath your comment letting me know which is your new favorite. I absolutely love when you leave those comments down below because it gives me a good indication as to whether I've done a style correctly, whether I've impressed you or whether I've let you down in any way, shape or form, which does happen more often than not. That all being said, I am very excited for today's video. So without further ado, let's get started from myself, from Bob, the plush. Let's go. Okay, so let's begin. And just a heads up, throughout this video, just like all of the previous episodes, I will be talking you through the styles, how I create them, what I'm looking for when I adapt a character into a new style. Yeah. Now let us draw Stitch. So the first drawing, as always, is our base. A basic image of the subject. In fact, I'll be using this image. He's so cute. And fluffy. So, why am I copying? Well, that be because the first image is just a point of reference. This drawing serves the purpose of being our guide. Our image that we see at all times and can compare our progress as we move forward. A picture that we can say, yep, that's Stitch. And so it is. Not a bad little drawing here, looks pretty accurate and I'm fully satisfied that this is going to do nicely as a reference for us to compare all of our styles later. As we go. Here we go. <laughs> Moving on. Pokemon! No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you, and I mean this, prepare to melt. For your eyes are about to witness a cuteness not seen since Bob became a plush. <laughs> that was a shameful plug. Now then, so, Pokemon. 
I got no idea how to pronounce this. I feel deep shame to admit this, but I was only ever a fan up until the third generation. I know I'm old. Leave me alone. So today's style swap is based with heavy influence from those eras. So I looked at the cutest Pokemon that I could think of. Eevee, Pikachu, obviously. And I learned that the secrets are simplistic designs, big bug eyes, soft round features, large heads, and innocence. Adapting these aspects to Stitch is actually very easy, as he himself is already all of the above. So this merely became a case of altering and shapeshifting him into similar familiar characters, while also bringing the recognizable features of Stitch over as well. My god, I want to hold it. It's so cute. But we did have troubles with the coloring. You see, Pokemon have a variety of styles, from classic to modern and some others. So today I chose to go for a softer approach in a more classic blended style with heavy emphasis on the bright highlights. And that's basically what this was, just finding some colors and blending them together, ensuring not to go dark on any of the shadows and keeping a very smooth blending transition across the board. God, he's so cute. Oh, I love it. I am definitely gonna say right now that this is going to be the fan favorite here today. Because this, this is just beautiful. I, I, I have shocked and surprised myself here because I've never seen something this cute. I want to hold it so badly. If you are a Pokemon fan, I'm sure you're going to have a much better opinion on this than I do. Because as I say, I'm not a major fan of the series and it's been a very long time since I've seen anything Pokemon related. But your opinion is so important and so valid, so please do let me know what you think about this one. M -m -m Moving on. Adventure time. Right, now, put down your pitchforks, please. I... I haven't seen this series. I know, I know, super popular. I just haven't found the time or the motivation as of yet to sit down and watch this series. So yes, drawing an extremely unfamiliar style, yeah, it's pretty difficult. But after many hours of researching material, I think I found an idea here. The characters are simplistic, but there is a cleanliness to the style that presents very, very well. And a flow that removes all sharp edges, and this flow, these curvy lines, are the secret. But they are also... I don't like smooth lines. I totally had two cups of coffee before I started this one, and I was super shaky. Not a good idea. This style is one that has a great emphasis on the line work, and a simplistic style that doesn't allow for much room for error. So when inking, you are going to need to focus. With not so many details, it's important that the line work stays clean and controlled. Yeah, looks all right. The coloring is another one of those areas that is actually a key to the overall style. With some styles, coloring can be altered to suit your own desires. However, with this one, I'd stick to the super simple style of one base color of a very bright tone with a consistent highlight along one side. So I took a background that I kept seeing in material as inspiration and created a little mountain range. Okay, this is cool. Now looky here, I'm not a fan of the show because I've never seen it. But come on, that totally looks like a character, right? Right? Adventure Time fans, I'm calling on you. Let me know. Moving on. Tim Burton. 
Oh yes, the style we have all waited for, the fan favourite, and more often than not, the most popular one by the end of these episodes. But today, we're gonna shake things up. So, usually when I do this style, I lean into the corpse's bride. It's, for me, the quintessential Burton style. It stands out in a crowd, we know it, we love it. But he has done more than just this. He's done... Beetlejuice. One of the greatest movies ever. I love it. So today's Burden style, we are taking inspiration from Beetlejuice, and I've already said the name twice. I'm gonna be careful. Now this style is going to be... creepy. But of course, Stitch does have some creepy features that we can use to play into this. You'll also notice that I took inspiration from his name, being Stitch, into the design today. Applying stitching in the form of his chest pattern to bridge the two styles together. But the colouring. Oh, the colouring. Burton's colours are so special, and the most important aspect of this style. Without them, we lose the effect. And I'm not just saying that. The colours that you use for this style will make or break the style swap, so you have to be careful what you choose. But today, they're actually very, very simple. Actually, they're very simple. Because when you do a burden style, you overlay your colours with a grey tone to wash out them colours. But, well, Stitch is blue, and blue-grey exists. So I just have to pick my colours the way I normally would. No overlay required. Alright, this one is creepy. Ugh. So yeah, Burden Stitch. Uh, um... I very much like it. I can definitely see Beetlejuice Horror. Alright, horror. Now, this one has a little bit of an, we'll say, explanation as to why I've done what I've done. So, being such an uber Stitch fan, I've always wanted a horror Stitch movie. I believe that the first movie we got was Perfection. The second movie was Nearly Perfection. The third movie was... No. But with Disney doing all of their live action remakes, and I presume a Stitch one is on its way, I don't really want it. Unless it's horror. This character has an incredible story that could adapt to a horror without any difficulty. Think about it, an alien designed by a mad scientist sent to the planet Earth for destruction and chaos. He looks... Okay, he looks cute and fluffy, but he could look so evil, it would work. It would be something fresh, something we've never seen before. Unfortunately, it's never gonna happen. So today's style is created off of that idea. My idea. However, I want to keep the animated look. I was admittedly torn between realism and animated, but I feel that animation allows for a nice contrast between our source material and the one that I'm currently drawing. But when colouring, I wanted to utilise the darker grey blues and keep heavy emphasis on the shadows. The idea here is to create a sense of uneasiness and dark shadows really help with this because you don't quite know what is lurking in the shadows. But if I'm being completely honest here, I found myself quite lost and unsure of what I wanted to do. I could most definitely have planned this a lot better, but I didn't. I felt way too confident in this horror style and I believe my mistakes do show. Yeah. They show. Okay, so it's not terrible. It does have the animated horror vibe, though... Something isn't there. I don't know what... But maybe you do. Because I'm really not 100% on this one. Moving on. Star Wars, Star Wars comic! <laughs> 
Oh yes, Star Wars. Now I am a Star Wars nerd. Ask me anything about Star Wars and I probably know the answer. I have watched, read, listened, examined, played so much Star Wars content, it's a little weird. But when I was drawing this, I felt so inspired, inspired to be true to the origin. And no, I'm really sorry, but I won't be making Stitch a Jedi. This is a style swap. This is not make Stitch a Jedi. As much as I would love to. Now then, Star Wars comics and novels have had a variety of different styles. No two are alike. So doing an exact style swap is not going to happen. But the style I have chosen, I feel captures the early issue comics quite beautifully. However, inking, I have never felt more confident and comfortable. It was quite strange actually, I felt at ease, one with the force, like there was something guiding me, to a result worthy of applying colour. So I coloured him. For some reason I started with the font. Meh. Now going for a comic style, particularly an older comic, I opted for once again some washed out colours. And something important here, we really shouldn't add too many shadows, nor should the shadows completely obey the realistic law of shadows. Simply placing the shadows in a general area will certainly suffice, and you will be surprised just how effective they are. <gasps> it's beautiful. Yep. Yep, I'm happy. I'm very happy. This... <laughs> this has been a good day. I love it. I just, I just love it. It just, it just, wow. Stitch. Moving on! No? We're done. So soon. Well, I gotta say, that ended a lot sooner than I thought, but here it is everyone, here are the results of today's Stitch Style Swap. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know in a comment down below. I must say, I am super happy with the results here today. Although we didn't do as many styles as we used to do, we really did achieve some beautiful pieces of artwork here and some not so amazing. But ultimately, I do love this layout and I think the format that we've chosen to do these in is just perfect and I would love to hear your opinions on that down below. But we have come to the point of the video where, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I asked you to leave a comment down below which style you were looking forward to the most. Now it is time for you to edit your comment or comment underneath your comment, letting me know which style is now your new favorite. I'll give you just a second before I reveal my favorite. <laughs> So, which one of these styles is my favorite? Now, when I'm creating these styles, it is quite easy for me to get biased towards one or the other, depending on how long they take. But looking at these all together like this, I gotta say, my favorite style is most definitely Pokemon. I think this one was a very obvious decision here. It is, in my opinion, the most accurate to the style it was supposed to be. Not saying the others weren't, but this one just stands out for me and I've just, I just, I've said this so much, but I love it. I love it so much. And I hope you do too. Well, there you have it everyone. The video is completed. Did you enjoy yourself here today on this video? Did you like the styles that we did? And most importantly, what should I do next? Leave those comments down below. But before we sign off today's video, it is time to discuss a little bit more about the Bob plush that is currently on sale. You, you come right here, you. So this little guy comes in at a price tag of $26. And what will happen is the campaign will run for 21 days, never to be seen again. This will never, ever, ever, ever appear ever again. And I believe you actually get a certificate of authenticity as well as a number of how many have been sold when you purchase this. So you will get something that says, 
this is exclusive and never is being made again. The one caveat to this entire campaign is that we must reach a minimum of 200 sales for it to go into production. So it would be absolutely incredible if we could reach that number because I'm not gonna make a lot of money off of it. I'll tell you that right now. I don't really make too much money out of this at all. But what is important is that this little guy is something that we have created as a community together is going to be out there in the world. And I would love to see some photos from you just showing me where Bob is around the world. And I wanna make a huge collage collage, and video showcasing all of them. So yeah, I'm just, I, I can't, I can't. This is so exciting. I'm just really over the moon here. And um, I just, I love him. I, I designed him by the way, with the assistance of Makeshift, which there'll be a link down below again. But this is just incredible. This is just so incredible. Uh, one thing, if you are nervous about making this purchase because you don't want to lose any money if we don't reach the campaign, don't worry about it. If we don't make the 200 number, all orders are refunded immediately. So you will not lose any money if we don't make it. If we do make it, you'll lose your money, but you'll get a bob. I just, I, I don't know what to say. Like a couple of years ago, I, I was a nobody doing some drawings and now I'm, I've got a bob. I, just, I don't know what to do. I love you guys so much. Take care. Have yourself a wonderful day from myself, from Bob. We look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>